In today's video, I'm going to talk about my business model and how I run my channel and how making honest review videos and not being a shill actually makes more money in the long run. And a lot of my viewers and the companies don't understand how I work. They'll blame me for siding with someone and I'm like, what are you talking about? If I were to side with anyone, I would lose my entire business. Or if I were to sign some of their contracts, I have my own contract and they have to follow my terms and conditions. It's not the other way around. And working this way allows me to make honest reviews. It's what the people need. First off, when a company approaches me and they have a product that they want me to review, I'm like, sure, I'll review it. And then I charge them a video fee and then I review the product. And I try to find every possible thing wrong with that product because that's what people want to see. When I watch a review, I want to see what the downsides are. And in my industry, everything has problems. So it's super fun. There's always an issue. And then after I publish my honest information about their product, they're like, oh no, we're gonna do another review. And then I charge them again. A lot of people think that if you write a good review, that you'll get free products. I'm not in it for free products. I'm in it to build my brand and to help people. That's what I'm here to do. And I will take money from all of these companies and I will continue to review them and show everything that I possibly can. It gets the most amount of views and people need the information. It's actually useful. Now, a lot of people think, why would a company do this? Why would they work with me? It's because they're overconfident. Everything comes from overseas. They don't test it and they think, hey, it conforms to a standard Standard, everything should be fine when everything was not fine and the product has lots of problems. Now most companies see what I do and they like it because I'm honest and I'm fair. I'm easy to work with and I get the job done. If I make a mistake, I'll make a new video and say, hey, I screwed up, whatever. And the viewers like it because if I find new information that disagrees with my old information, I don't care. I'll publish all of it. It's more views and it helps more people. It is 100% beneficial in both ways all the time. And if a lot of people on the forum are complaining about a company, I'll spend my own money, get that product, open it up, and I'll get a bunch of views and I'll make even more money. And whenever a product fails, I can link higher quality products down below with affiliate links and then I make more money. It is a win-win for everybody involved. The people get the actual information they need. The companies actually have an honest reviewer. And guess what? If they do good and they make a good product, which isn't very common nowadays, they'll sell out. Usually if I can't find something wrong, they'll sell their entire inventory. And that's the burden on my shoulders when something actually works which is crazy, but I don't like that because for the next few months, I'm gonna try to find someone that found something wrong with that product. I am on a mission to find the problems with the products. In this way, I want people to watch my videos because they have to, because gosh, if Will made a video about it, he probably found something wrong. And my goal is not to be negative. I wanna find good stuff. It's just that the market is filled with garbage. Now, sometimes I make a video and I find a lot of things wrong and nobody wants to buy that product anymore. And then the company pretty much disappears because they have a bad product or they have a safety issue. I don't really care about that because all of this stuff is imported anyways. And in about a week, that same exact battery is gonna be available with another company. And then they're gonna reach out and then I'm gonna review that one as well. These companies come and go so quickly that I don't feel connected to any of them. And I shouldn't. They'll try to be my friend or something and I don't care. I'll be nice to everybody. But then I review the product, I find five problems and they're like, why would you do this to us? And I was like, what are you talking about? I'm doing my job. I test the products and I try to find problems. Also, my viewers like to side with companies. And if I find problems with those products, my viewers end up not liking me either. And I don't care if I piss off the companies or the viewers, I'm trying to find truth. Eventually, once all the egos disappear, they'll be like, hey, he actually had a good point and that was a problem. And that's my goal. That's what I'm trying to find. Now, my goal is not to have opinions, to say that things are good or bad, even if it is a glaring problem. I want to show you my evidence and I'll zoom the camera in and that's it. Now in practice, it's super hard and this is my passion. I love electronics. So when something fails, I get kind of excited because I found a problem. If I find something's good and it actually works, I'm like, wow, what the heck is going on here? It's actually surprising to me. I'm like, wow, 80% of products 
fail and this one actually did work as advertised, that's super cool. And I love setting up experiments. I like seeing what they actually do. I love this stuff. And I'm not perfect. I'm gonna miss some things and that's totally fine too. I can use that to make even more money. It's to the benefit of everyone. I will share whatever information comes my way. That's why I started my own forum or the message board. If I'm wrong, people can argue against me. If they have evidence that disagrees with whatever I say, we have more people to share information. And that's valuable to people, it is valuable to me. I was getting scammed by these stupid products all the time. I had inverters go bad, I had solar panels go bad, and I was like, who the heck, everybody on YouTube's telling me all this stuff is great, when all this stuff is breaking, I don't like that. It's supposed to last for 20 or 30 years and it's breaking after two years? That's ridiculous, it pisses me off. So I accidentally stumbled into this position, and here I am, I test stuff and I try to find the problems. Now when I make money, it's usually through affiliate programs. That's like 90% of my income. And if people think that my information actually helped them, they can use the link down below and support my channel. And what's so nice about affiliate programs is there's a million of them. There's Amazon, there's every solar distributor, there's solar panel distributors, battery distributors, and they all have affiliate programs. If I don't like a single distributor because they have bad customer service, but they have good products, well guess what? I can link to a new one in two seconds. That way I don't have to side with a brand, a distributor, or anybody. I can have the links going wherever I want them to. And the moment a distributor that I'm linking to is causing problems, it's posted all over the form and I take those links down. And then they lose business because they're doing a bad job. So what I'm trying to get at is everything in my business incentivizes the companies to make better products and have better customer service. It incentivizes my viewers to be honest about their products and not to be little fanboys and to actually look at the test data and to share what they're experiencing. I like that as well. Now all of my videos I have to say are sponsored because I get the products for free. And all the products I get for free, I donate to everybody on the forum. Besides my house system, I don't need any of these batteries. I give them to other people that do. And and then when they test them, if they find more problems, then I can make more videos. It's like a win-win in every direction. And I think every channel could do this. They can do this. They'll make more money and they'll get more views and they'll help everybody. It's crazy. But the YouTubers should not sign the contracts. The sponsorship contracts are what get them into trouble. All they need to focus on is actually having honest information and backing it up. Whenever I do capacity tests, I take a million photos of everything. So if someone tried to sue me or something, I can say, hey, look, this is exactly what it's doing. The video should show everything and usually that's what I do. But if I'm working with a company that seems so happy, like the DCS battery, for example, I'm going to zoom in and I'm gonna show you everything and substantiate everything with evidence. Next, with electronics, things either work or they don't. If you find a problem, it's very direct and it's black and white. With other industries, it's kind of hard for you to conclude things, but with electronics, it's very easy. Next, people have had a problem with my video feed because I charge all these companies. Show me a video where I was ever biased to a company. There is literally zero incentive to do that. Why would I ever logically side with any of these companies? I don't even run this channel because it's economically smart. I figured out that it is after a while, but I do it because that's the way I am. I am constantly trying to find problems. And ever since I was a kid, I was brutally honest. I just don't have that filter. I don't care what other people feel. If something's wrong, I have to say it. I can't even go to bed at night. Sometimes I make these videos and I post them late because I'm like, I found a problem and people need to know this is a safety problem. I instantly think that every second ticking by of me not sharing this information is people getting hurt. I don't like that. And I'm like that about everything. I ha That's just how I am. I want to share how I work with other companies and what other YouTubers should do. So I have in my business model how to deal with them. So I tell other YouTubers, never ever accept sponsorship contracts. This is the secret behind my channel. The moment you sign those contracts, you are shooting yourself in the foot. Your content will instantly be a liability if you find something wrong and they can sue you. Tell the company no, I will not sign this garbage. Then send them an invoice for the video fee and say that you will do the same review that you do for everyone else and they should agree to your terms. 
these companies will eventually cave. If you're getting views, they're eventually going to break down in a few months and be like, okay, fine, we'll work with Will. Why would they possibly be afraid of me unless they have something to hide? Maybe they fix everything and they're like, okay, now we'll talk to Will. That's kind of messed up, but that's the way it is. Next, these contracts are awful. They say that you have to say positive things about the product. You can't have other companies' products in the background, which I have a billion in every single video. Also, you can't compare products with other products in some of those contracts. That's why when you watch these YouTubers' videos, it's only one product. Have you noticed that I always bring in other products and other prices and I'm like, why would I buy this when I could buy that? You won't hear that in the other channels because they have to follow the contract. Before I make videos, I tell them this is what I'm going to do. And if you don't like that, you can leave. Now, I do not have any future plans for my channel. I find problems and I show you. I don't have any other plan besides that. And when my inbox is filled with a hundred different companies, I'm going to charge every single one of them because I'm gonna review their product anyways, I might as well take all their money. And for people to think that I'm going to side with one of these companies or the distributor, which would make me way less money, think about any YouTuber that sides with the company and where they're at now, because eventually that product's gonna have a problem, right? And then that channel's gonna look stupid, and I can milk off of that. I can share the information, and I can help everybody all the time, over and over and over again. And then the company's like, hey, we fixed it, and then I'm like, okay, I'm gonna charge my video fee, and then I make even more money. I make money on every single step, and I help the viewer. And I even say it in my terms and conditions. I say, I will do everything possible to find problems with your product. I will start with basic tests. I critically evaluate the product's build quality, component selection, documentation, and how it compares to the competition. I have it all right here for every single company to see. And I think other YouTubers need to do this. Stop signing their contracts. Make your own contract. Why are you asking them for this opportunity? Your channel is the opportunity. They have it switched backwards for some reason. I will do everything I can to mention other companies' products in my video and compare it to your product. If your product is truly exceptional, I will make it shine. If it is a horrible option in the market for the price, I will tell everyone. If I find a problem with your product and you make a public response, I will share that public response and make it known. If you fix the issues quickly and refund your customers that bought the product, it will make your company shine. A lot of companies don't understand that all products will eventually have problems. How you respond to those problems is how you make your business succeed. If every time there's a problem, your company fixes the issue and makes everyone happy, it's an opportunity and you'll get future sales. And for some reason, companies just can't figure this out. And what drives me crazy is when I get comments saying, oh, Will's just doing this to get free stuff. You know what a pain in the butt it is to review things that are hundreds of pounds that I have to get off of my property constantly and the amount of boxes I fill up my cargo van with to get these things moving in and out? It's nice that I'm getting stuff for free so I can give them out for free and I can donate all of it. But even then, when I donated it, one person tried to sell it. Isn't that ridiculous? Even when you're trying to help people and be the good guy, there's still people trying to make a buck off of it. It's ridiculous. With my business, I wanna make money by giving honest information and helping others and creating a platform at the forum so people can talk and share their information, even if it disagrees with me. That's how I wanna make money. That's the value I'm giving. It's not trying to get a free battery. Like where in there, what? It doesn't make any sense. It takes five minutes to figure out. My whole business model is on my forum. You can see everything I'm doing. And I still get these stupid comments, man. And if you have a good product with good software, you have nothing to fear with me. And I'm a huge opportunity for your company. So yeah, it's a win-win. If you give me something that's amazing for a great price, I would love to share it because my viewers need that. And if you screw up, I'm gonna share that. I don't care what the company is doing five years ago or what they're doing now. If I find something wrong today, that's my job to share it. Now, if you wanna criticize my business model, please let me know on the forum or in the comments of this video. The goal of this video is to encourage other YouTubers to not be walking, talking advertisements. They could make more money and help people and not be stuck to a single brand. 
That's what's hurting their channel is these stupid contracts. And I know these YouTubers, they get all giddy and excited and they're like, oh my God, I got this lump sum amount of money. I just have a video schedule and I have to crank out these videos. I'm like, yeah, but it's gonna kill your channel. You just sound like a shill. Especially if every second they say, oh yeah, I'm so honest and we're gonna do honest testing here. We can't be bought. It's like, we can see right through it. At least I can. And when I go on YouTube, I'm tired of seeing advertisements. I feel like the whole thing is an advertisement. It's just, I don't, it's not good. Also, it's more fun doing it my way. Imagine following a script. I don't have scripts. Sometimes I like a product and I'm like, dang, this thing is sweet. And then I test it on camera and I'm like, wow, what a piece of garbage. I never know what's gonna happen. And I just wanna show you what my results are. And that is the value. That's why I'm here. That's my mission. I hope you liked the video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.